we're going to use this new video to kind of introduce what we're um, what we're doing. Right. So you, it's not quite quite such a surprise when we go out and, and do this stuff. I think a lot of people get really nervous and they come back and they're like, "Well, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be." Thrust one, one right, three four, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, thrust one. All right, if you want to hold on to the stick, just to get an idea of what we're doing, um, I'll do the takeoff, and then we'll give you uh, Juliet, contact loan for departure. We'll give you the controls after we took, we've took taken off, okay? All right, sounds good. So we're, all we're going to do is just pop into ground effect, accelerate, and just give it a good pull, okay? Okay. All right. Here we go, bud. So we're going to full throttle, uh, push the nose forward, get the thing up on the two front gear, just wait for it to hop around a little bit, pop it up off the ground, and we'll just stick it right there, okay? Alright. And accelerate, accelerate, accelerate. And here we go, you ready? Yep. And that's how it's done. Air flight controls. Ah, uh, my controls. Zero one zero heading two thousand feet. You're gonna get there quick, okay? All right. I got your power. Roll out. Like a boss. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna give you some nose down trim as you start to accelerate, okay? All right. You don't have trim up there. If you need trim, all you gotta do is just let me know, okay? Okay. So that should good. probably work out pretty well for you. Yeah, it feels good. And I forgot to mention, you do have a, a six sack down by your left leg if you need it. Okay. Uh, stuff down there at the seat. All right, sounds good. Hopefully we won't need that today. You got a little bit of a heavy right uh, foot. So okay. four cruiser November there you go. Six air trolley at descending beautiful. Okay, yeah. Okay, now I was, I was thinking it was uh, kind of a similar thing as the Archer. I was looking for that break, but I see that ball there. Yeah, it, it doesn't take much on the um, using the rudder. I mean, if you wag the tail like this, see how much we got? Yeah. I mean, it's it's a lot. All right. And that's barely using any at all. So it. It just doesn't require a ton. Okay, we're clear of the delta, so why don't you pop on up to 2,500 feet? All right. Once we get up above, you know, 3,500 3, or so, I think it'll probably smooth out. All right. Yeah, this is a uh, totally different feeling. Feels like I'm in fast forward. Yeah. Five fifty one out of the tower and right downwind for when we're three four maintain 2,500. Right down one four three four two thousand five hundred thirty five sixty one. I'm gonna turn okay. him down. We don't need to listen to him. All right. All right. So we're just uh, coming out of this ring. We can go ahead and um, come on up to three thousand five hundred feet now. All right. You can throw it around a little bit too. Just kind of have fun with it. Feel what the ailerons feel like and just enjoy it. You're not really. You don't really need a whole lot of rudder in tur when you're turning this thing. Okay. The only time you need a bunch of rudder, or not even a bunch of rudder, any rudder really, in this thing, is when you're climbing. Right. Um, you climb it at a steep angle. You kind of got to breathe on that right rudder a little bit. Um, you know. Uh, you know, and obviously the spin we're going to use four rudder when we're coming out of it. But right. The right. rudder works real well in this thing. Uh, this thing definitely has a lot of ailer on control. You just barely move it. Oh yeah. It's and it's it's uh, rolling. Watch that altitude because we're still under the Bravo. All right. So we get out of this Bravo airspace, we'll start off with a couple of just warm up rolls. Yeah. Um, just to kind of show you, show you what you know something other than 30 degrees of bank looks like. All right. Just kind of warm you up. And if you're not going to get sick on rolls, you're not going to get sick on anything. All right. Um, why don't you go ahead and turn the camera on in front of you and just make sure you're getting a red light. And I think it's going to say record or something like that. 
All right, there we go. Okay, now hit the one on the top. On the top. Yeah, we're it's recording now. It's recording yeah. now. Okay, awesome. All right, so put your hand on the stick. All right. And we're just going to start off with what's called a slow roll. Okay. All right, let's go. So it's going to be just kind of a nice gentle roll. Put your feet on the rudder pedal so you feel what I'm doing here. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to pull the airplane up like this. I'm going to add some aileron. I'm going to start adding some top rudder here. Hold it upside down for a second. And then some top rudder and then neutral, okay? All right. That's a slow roll. It's a little harder because you got to coordinate it with rudders, things like that. Right. I'm going to show you what's called a ballistic roll. It's a little faster and a lot easier, okay? Yeah. Put your hand on that stick. Yep. Just going to pull the nose up. And all we're going to do is push the aileron over and hold it. And that's a ballistic roll, okay? All right. So what you don't want to do when you do one of these rolls is kind of checking out when you're halfway through it, okay? Right. Because then you'll fall out the bottom, right? Yeah. Um, and you kind of just got to pull the nose up a little bit. Um, the amount you pull the nose up, there's direct correlation to how fast you're rolling, okay? Right. The faster you roll, the less you got to pull the nose up. The slower you roll, like I pull it up kind of like that, right? Yeah. And see where the nose ends up? Yep. If I start here, watch where it ends up. Even if I'm pointed down. See how far down it is? Yep. So what I would do is set it to like, you know, five degrees or so, and then throw it over, okay? Okay. You ready? Yep. You got it. Ah, uh, my controls. Your controls. Ah, uh, five degrees. Don't get that rudder in there. Traffic. No. And then again, once you do it, just kind of commit. You may even need to push a little bit harder when you're in there. Let's do okay. another one together. Ready? Yep. Push it, push it, push it, push it, stop. So oh, that was a little early. Okay. <laughs> Traffic. Yeah, right. I guess I was pushing enough. That's that's probably what it was. Yeah, and you don't have to spin that or roll that fast, but just um, you almost have to pick it up a little bit when you're kind of on that knife edge, okay? Right. So pick the nose up and try it again. There you go, good, and a little early. There you go, not bad. Not and then we can do fun things like climb and roll. So, if we pull the nose up, we can actually climb and roll. Climb, we're on climbing, climbing, climbing. Oh my gosh, look at that. Uh, Pretty cool, huh? Yes, sir. All right, come on up to 5,000. All right. And we're going to start our spins, okay? Okay, yeah, sounds good. So anytime we're doing spins, we got to do clearing turns, right? Right. These are clearing turns are going to be a lot different than the clearing turns we're doing in the, in the Archer, though, okay? Yeah. So um, I'm going to come up with a stick with you. And what we're doing is we're looking outside. We're spending, like, all the time looking outside. Now we're looking down, right? Yep. But we're not really as concerned with what's around us because we're going pretty much straight down. Right. And we're not just doing clearing turns to look for traffic below us, but also, like, towers and whatnot. Yeah, stuff that's going to turn us into a shish kebab. Right. All right, so I don't see anything. Do you see anything? Nope. All right, I'm going to do the very first one, but you're going to hold on, okay? You're just right. going to shout at me on the controls. Um, I got your power. We got our boost pump on. And we're just going to bring that power all the way back to idle, okay? Yeah. All right. We're just going to wait for that speed to come to us. You see this attitude right here where the nose is at? It's yep. about where we want to enter. Yeah. And we're just waiting for that, that stall. We don't, we're not just looking inside. We're or looking outside, listening to the airplane, feel it talking to you, saying I'm stalling. Yep. Pull that stick all the way back, left foot all the way to the floor, and just hold it. Yeah. And there's our spin, okay? Now we just you know, stay in it here for a minute. We're going to look, oh. we're going to unload, and recover. And then pull back. Uh, you notice I didn't snatch the stick back, right? Yeah. We just kind of let, it, the air, let the airplane start uh, flying again. Right. And we're not pulling back until the airplane stops rotating. Yeah. If you start pulling back before the airplane starts rotating, you're going to get into a secondary stall and potentially uh, get back into that spin, okay? Okay. All right, so you got the flight controls. Uh, my controls. Your controls. I'm going to talk you through this one, okay? All right. I'm right here with you, but uh, we're going we're gonna to let you do it. All right, so coming on up at about 4,500 feet, 5,000 will level off. Yeah. That camera's still recording up there. Yeah, we got that blinking uh, red light. Right on. Yeah. All right, I'm going to start pulling your power back. All right, looking outside, looking all around, spending all that time looking outside at this beautiful sunny day. All right, just wait for that tickle in the stick. Feel it? Yep. All the way back, left foot. Keep that, keep that stick uh, neutral. You got a little left aileron in there. There you okay. go, right there. All right, and look, unload, recover. Get that right foot out of there. Get that right foot out of there and pull back. Beautiful. So the only thing you need to do different is just get that right foot out of there, okay? Okay. Sooner. So neutralize the rudders. Yeah. So what you're going to do is not just not just lift your right foot up, 
push that left that left foot down. Exactly. Okay. All right, let's turn back to the north. That was good, man. Thank you. I like it. That's fun filling those G's, too. Yeah. Just breathe on that right foot a little bit in that climb. You see that oh, uh, yeah, chronometer there? There you go. It doesn't take much, though. Yeah. All right, so leveling off 5,000. And... Yep. So we'll take that power all the way to idle. We'll just wait for that speed to come to us. So you notice I'm pulling the power back real nice and slow. Yep. If you if you pull the power back too fast on this thing, it just coughs and it doesn't like it. Okay. So we just, we're trying to be nice and gentle with it. This time, make sure you keep that aileron nice and neutral. All right, bury that stick first, and then left foot. All right, just hold it. All right. And you can recover when you're ready. Beautiful! Man, that was textbook perfect. Did you mean to roll out in the south heading? I did not. That was great, man. Real Thanks. well done. Yeah, that one felt a lot better, too. That was... Couldn't have done any better myself. You gonna roll back to the north or stay south? Uh, we're fine here. Okay. Just keep an eye on that airspace. Take that power out, you gotta take that foot out, right? Yeah, that's right. All right, stick back first, then left foot to the floor. All right. They're on neutral. Yep. Well, neutral. Hey, recover whenever you're ready. Not available. You got a little bit of a secondary stall there. Just okay. a little bit, you feel that little shutter? Yeah. Just a little bit. too quick on that back just pressure. A, just a hair, man. Okay. Yeah, just a hair. Little right foot in the climb, there you okay. go. Which is good for you to see, right? Like yeah. it's, it's uh, you just, as soon as you felt that, I feel, felt you kind of um, kind of relax on the back pressure and can't right. lean forward a little bit, which is exactly the right thing to do. Yeah. Come left to a, a northerly heading, we got a little traffic up in front of us. You don't need that left foot in that turn. There you go. Good job. All right, so this time we're going to do something a little different, okay? Yeah. So you're going to get the spin the same way. I'm going to come up and just be kind of light on the ailerons. I'm going to introduce a little bit of right aileron, a little opposite aileron. I want you to notice um, how different the spin is, okay? Okay. And then afterwards, I want you to kind of describe to me what you what you experience. All right. And it's going to be a little harder to recover from this one, okay? Okay. Still not hard, though. All right, there's power to idle. Bear the stick, the left foot. All right, we're going to let it develop a little bit. And here comes your aileron. All right, recover. Push that stick for it a little more. Let me get that foot out of there. There you, there you go. Kind of let that right foot in a little long, OK? okay. Yeah, that one was definitely a, uh, a tighter spiral. Yeah, so that's more of a flat spin. Okay. Right. So, what's happening in that flat spin is we're coming down, we're coming down a lot slower. Right. We're rotating a lot more. Traffic. Let's do a left turn back to the north. <clears throat> so, that's what a more developed spin is going to look like. So, the longer you're in a spin, it's going to flatten out more. We okay. just helped it with some aileron. Okay. All right. And then if we had any power, and it would be even like you feel like you're in a blender, right? Right. Um, so it, it would wind up a whole lot tighter. But you notice how much kind of, it's a lot more disorienting, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Um, all right, so this time you're going to spin. You're going to get into the spin. You're going to yep. get out of the spin whenever you want, okay? Okay. So we're going to let you do the whole thing. I'm going to keep my mouth shut and just make sure you can do it. All right, you're still controlling power though, right? Yeah, I got your power. Okay. All right, here comes your power to idle, bud. All right, so leveling off 5,000. Talk me through it, Mr. Flight Instructor. Introducing a little more of that left rudder, pulling that power to idle, so. Keeping that attitude around 7.5 to 10. 
Staying coordinated here. Once that shift, that stick starts sh uh, shaking a little bit. Hear that? Stick. Full left rudder. A little, little bit right aileron here. You don't need the right aileron. It was just okay. if, if you want to, it's fine. But that's so just going to make your life harder. Neutralize the stick. Right rudder. Neutralize rudders. And a slow, steady pull up. Good. Yep. That was great. You're a pro, man. You're yeah. a good stick. And on that climb, a little more right rudder. Yep. I think you're good, man. All right. I yes. love it. That's fun. All right. Well, now we get to have some fun if you want to. Absolutely. Uh, you want to do a uh, half Cuban? Let's do, yeah, whatever there is. I don't know all the uh, all, right. all the maneuvers, but. I'm going to come up on the stick with you. All right. Um, I'm going to level off here. It's going to get a little air speed, okay? So what a half Cuban is, it's a three-quarter loop followed by a half roll on the 45-degree uh, inverted down line. Okay. And you're probably thinking, what the hell is he talking about? That's right. It's, it's kind of uh, like a figure eight, but you're, you're leveling, or you're, uh, you're rolling. It's half a figure eight. Yeah, okay. kind of on, a, on the the vertical plane, okay? So when we do a loop, as you can imagine, we pull up, we're not gonna be able to see anything in front of us, right? Right. So what we're gonna do is look out your left wing, and that's your attitude indicator, okay? Yeah. So what we're gonna do, just gonna give it a good pull, we're gonna introduce some Gs, right rudder, right rudder, right rudder. Okay, now we look up over top, and we stop, nice. and we roll. All right. That's a half Cuban. All right. Um, we could do an Emmelman, which is a half loop. Feeling okay? Absolutely. And then roll. What was that one? Emmelman. Emmelman? Yeah, kind of a fighter pilot maneuver. Okay. Um, and if you want to, we can fly upside down for a second. Uh, Just make sure you got your, um, everything fastened down and that yeah. pocket shut because shit will fly around or stuff will fly around. Yeah, I, I gotta good. clean it up for my video here. <laughs> Using all my, my bad words here. Alright. So we're just gonna pick the nose up, flip it over, and push. Available. What do you think? Pretty cool. Birds are upside down. <laughs> Just don't do that. To, uh, <laughs> don't do that in the archer. Yeah. Your or your engine will quit. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, we're kind of half aerobatic pilots today, or air show yeah. pilots today. Feels like it. All right. We'll get down here below the Bravo, and then we'll go on home, okay? All right. All right. You got the flight controls. Uh, my controls. Your controls. Go ahead and follow that pink line home.